Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video we are looking at the DC Universe Classics Harley Quinn figure. Somebody asked me to review the Joker from, I think, Wave 10, and I'm going to do that, but I thought if you're going to review Joker, you might as well review Harley Quinn. I think I might have done this before, but that was forever ago, and I thought it would be beneficial to you guys if I reviewed her Again, it's actually a pretty good figure. We have two different versions. This is the original release that just came as a standard figure, standard release. And this is the one that came in the Mad Love 2-pack with the Joker. Why isn't the camera focusing? That came with the Joker. So this one is almost identical to this one, except the faces. This one has the all-white face. This one was not supposed to end up with a blue face. It was just supposed to have a tiny bit of blue for shading. And I guess the machine at the factory went a little overboard. They all look like that. It's not just mine. It's a general issue, which is why I think they re-released this one with no shading at all, which is infinitely better looking. Uh, otherwise, they're virtually identical. The reds are a tiny bit different, but that's not even worth mentioning. This one has a little bit of extra red around the face, which I think is just like a factory touch-up. Doesn't look that great. Uh, but I don't think that's probably a general issue. So as far as paint goes, they're okay. They just painted the black and red lining. And it's not 100% perfect, but it's definitely good enough. I'm not going to complain about that. The white part is sculpted up here, so that's molded in white. So uh, that's good. Uh, the, these balls on the ends of her things are painted well. This one has a really nice paint job for the face. No complaints at all about that. Decent paint job for the wrist frilly things. And then the diamonds on her outfit are painted really well also. And then the same goes for this one. They are really the same figure for the most part. So no big deal there. Uh, they both come with, I think, the same accessories. I know I have these accessories with both of them. The pistol with the cork. Fake rope, unfortunately, but still a nice accessory. And then the big mallet, which looks pretty good. They both have that. For me, maybe I just gave it to them. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost positive they both came with that. I also have these with my original release Harley, but I think I just threw these in because I had spare accessories and I thought they'd work with her. This is, I think, a DC Direct Joker, maybe, or an old Superheroes Joker accessory. And this, I don't remember what that's from at all, but I threw them in, so I don't think they came with her. But I wanted to show you, just in case I forgot, that she actually did come with that. So we're going to use this one for the review. Uh, she stands an appropriate height of about six inches so she's a little bit shorter than Joker and you'll see in the photos at the end her up against Joker articulation wise she can look up and down a little bit this one doesn't really want to move the head too much this one the head seems to work much better well maybe not much better just a little bit better so maybe it's just a little stuck but you can actually lean from side to side twist and everything with this figure so that's pretty good I think that's nice you'll get some decent poses out of her for sure uh, standard shoulders Pretty good range of motion there with a bicep swivel. Single jointed elbow gives you about 90 degrees. And then, isn't she supposed to? She has a wrist swivel. That wrist doesn't want to move though. So she has a wrist swivel. And this hand and this hand both have that kind of angled gripping hand. So she can hold the mallet in a nice pose. It doesn't want to stay in her hand always, but you can get it to stay. You just have to work with it a little bit and make sure. There you go. So she can hold the mallet, so that's good. And then the pistol, I think she can. Let's see, it's almost like a, a, a finger, a trigger finger hand. And the pistol doesn't have a big trigger, so you can have her hold that too. So that's perfectly fine. Her ab crunch actually does work. Not great. She leans really far back and almost not forward at all, but it is there, so that's okay. We have a waist twist, standard hips, pretty limited articulation, so she's not going to be doing too much acrobatic posing, but it's not horrible, it's acceptable. Thigh swivel, single jointed knee, nice sculpt for the shoes, and then we have the single jointed ankle, no ankle rocker or anything, but you can probably get enough posability out of it. So it's not a great figure by any means, but if you're a Joker slash Batman slash Harley Quinn fan, then you should definitely pick up one of these figures. I would go with the Mad Love 2-pack version because the all-white face looks much better. And the face paint is just a little bit better, I think, in general. But that's probably going to be dependent on your personal tastes. So I will post some photos here at the end. Uh, but that'll do it. It's a good figure. I do recommend it. It's just not super great. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.